Courier 1B was launched on October 4, 1960 at 5.50 p.m. UTC from Launch Complex 17B at Cape Canaveral. This launch was on the three-year anniversary of Sputnik 1, and while that satellite transmitted its distinctive signal, Courier 1B was the first active repeater satellite, a development on Project SCORE, which was the first communication satellite. Courier 1B had a transmission capability of around 53 kilobits per second, the equivalent of a dial-up internet connection for one user. Still, it was a great advance over the weak signal from Project SCORE and the passively reflected signals provided by Project ECHO. Courier 1B was a 230 kilogram sphere covered in thousands of solar cells, which in principle would allow it to remain active until its batteries died. Somewhat surprisingly, it was the first satellite to use nickel-cadmium batteries. While nickel-cadmium batteries had been invented at the turn of the century, production in the United States had only begun in 1946, so the technology was only just maturing at this point. Just as Project SCORE had relayed a message from President Eisenhower, in that case a Christmas message, so did Courier 1B, except this time it was a message to the United Nations. Even though it was meant to operate for longer, the satellite only functioned for 17 days before ceasing to respond to commands, possibly because access codes to it were based on the time and had gotten out of sync. Courier 1B was launched on a Thor Able Star rocket into a 938 by 1237 kilometer orbit with a 28.3 degree inclination. The next stage in communication satellite development would come a year and nine months later with Telstar 1 a similar sphere only 171 kilograms in mass that could relay telephone calls, the first live transatlantic television transmission, and started the commercial use of communication satellite technology. With that, thank you for watching this mission profile of Courier 1B.